Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to the lecture series on food technology. In this session, we will study about the topic acidophilus milk. The topic acidophilus milk is studied under five subunits such as 1. Introduction, 2. The starter culture, 3. Preparation of acidophilus milk, 4. Nutritional information and 5. Health benefits. 1. Introduction. Acidophilus milk is also known as cultured milk, sometimes called sweet acidophilus milk that has a therapeutic value. This cultured product is usually low in fat and has a longer shelf life than ordinary milk. The bacterium lactobacillus acidophilus is added to it, giving it a tangy flavor and thickened texture and may be readily implanted in the intestinal tract if adequate amounts of the cultured milk are consumed over a period of time. Many experiments have been conducted to study its effect on persons suffering from constipation. In all the cases studied, from 80 to 100 percent of the patients were relieved by consuming adequate amount of acidophilus milk. Many people believe it can benefit digestion and prevent allergies due to the activity of the acidophilus bacteria in the intestines. The administration of acidophilus milk is just as valuable for the treatment of diarrhea. Excellent results have been obtained in treating newborn lambs and cows by feeding acidophilus milk. Ever since lactobacillus acidophilus is used as probiotics, the use of acidophilus milk was also being reported. Dr. J. H. Kellogg from Michigan, USA in 1933 in an editorial article, The Mischievous Colon Bacillus writes about implanting the protective bacteria lactobacillus acidophilus. This is now easily accomplished by means of the newly discovered preparation that is acidophilus milk. This is the is earliest document seen that contains the term acidophilus milk. The starter culture. The selection of starter culture is most important step in the preparation of acidophilus milk. It is now possible to obtain a pure broth culture of lactobacillus acidophilus at or through all drug stores, although they often contain other strains including streptococcus thermophilus and lactobacillus bulgaricus that are commonly used to make yogurt. If fermented too long, the milk will turn into yogurt. The product of reliable manufacturer should be specified. Lactobacillus acidophilus is a member of the lactobacillus genus of bacteria. These bacteria can be found in the mouth, intestine and vagina. Lactobacillus acidophilus is thought to benefit health since it produces vitamin K and lactase. However, lactobacillus acidophilus cannot make many other vitamins and amino acids. Because of this, lactobacillus acidophilus is mostly found in the upper gastrointestinal tract where there are higher amounts of these nutrients. Lactobacillus acidophilus is commonly used in the food such as yogurt and other dairy products and also in fermented soy products, so as miso and temp. Lactobacillus acidophilus is one of the most commonly used probiotics microorganisms that are used to promote health. There is a good evidence for the use of lactobacillus acidophilus in treating vaginal infections. However, there is an unclear evidence for other medicinal uses of lactobacillus acidophilus such as in the irritable bowel syndrome and also in brine disorders, asthma, high cholesterol, lactose digestion or diarrhea. Preparation of mother culture. Fill skim milk around half of the 2000 ml Erlinair flask and plug tightly with cotton and then 
sterilize in a pressure cooker or in a steam autoclave for about 30 minutes at 15 pounds pressure. The sterilized milk should show a slight brown color and should have a caramelized odor. As a check on the efficiency of sterilization, keep sterilized milk in one of the Erlenmeyer flasks at room temperature for several days after it has been removed from the sterilizer. During this period, there will be growth of bacteria that were not killed by the heating with the result of an undesirable fermentation will take place in the milk. Another flask is used for inoculation by a wire needle that has been sterilized or incinerated in flame. The mouth of the flask containing the sterilized milk and the mouth of the flask containing the culture should be sterilized immediately after removing the cotton plugs by passing through an open flame. Care must be taken to avoid contaminating the cotton plugs. The inoculated milk is then incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for about 36 hours. At the end of this period, a solid coagulum should have formed, which is free from any gas holes. Preparation of the bulk culture. Use a high quality skimmed milk containing minimum number of bacteria. Place the milk in 20 liter stainless steel cans. The cans should be filled to within 6 inches of the top. A straight sided shotgun type of can is convenient. The lid should be of the overhanging type. A sheet of parchment paper may be placed over the top of the can before the lid is placed in position. A pressure cooker of a size large enough to accommodate 3 to 4 20 liter can is convenient to use for sterilizing the milk. Before sterilization, the milk should be preheated to a temperature of approximately 38 degrees Celsius. Sterilization consists of heating for a period of 13 to 15 minutes after the air has been expelled from the cooker at 15 pounds per square inch gas pressure. This gives a temperature of 121 degree Celsius. The sterilized milk should have a slightly brown color and a caramelized flavor. The sterilized milk should be placed in a tank of water and cooled to a temperature of 38 degree Celsius. It then can be inoculated with mother culture using approximately 60 ml culture for 1500 liter of milk. A steam sterilized metal rod may be used for stirring the milk briefly after inoculation or this stirring may be omitted. The water in the tank should be maintained at 37 degree plus or minus 1 degree Celsius by means of an electrical heater which is thermostatically controlled. Normally, the milk will show a good coagulation without weighing off after 36 hours of incubation. Cool the acidophilus milk by means of cold running water to a temperature of 10 degree to 15 degree Celsius. It is now ready for marketing. Agitate the coagulum vigorously using a sterilized stirring rod until it is of a creamy consistency. Place the milk in bottles, jars or lacquer tin cans. The milk may be stored at room temperature for a period not exceeding 14 days. If stored longer, there will be a marked decrease in the number of bacteria present. Preparation of acidophilus milk. The milk supply. To start with, the milk must be free from those bacteria which naturally occur in fresh milk. This can be attained by boiling ordinary market milk for a long time. But it has been found that unsweetened evaporated milk is particularly suitable for this purpose. It can be obtained from the grocer at a fair price and can be kept on handle ways ready for use and it is clearly sterile. Evaporated milk has been sterilized under rather high steam pressure about 11 pounds. 
this is sufficient just to begin to caramelize the milk. Kopilov has shown that when milk is autoclaved to a light caramel color, the acidophilus organism grows more rapidly in it than in the milk heated to a lesser degree. The control of temperature. The acidophilus organism grows best at about 32 to 40 degrees Celsius. It exhibits less growth at lower temperature, though it has been found that the organism produces acid at a considerable rate even at room temperature. Four observations showed an average increase of 0.65 percent lactic acid in 24 hours at 65 degrees Celsius. Milk that has been inoculated can be warmed to 70 to 80 degrees Celsius and transferred to a thermos bottle where it will maintain a temperature high enough to permit very satisfactory growth in 15 to 24 hours. The rate at which the temperature falls off depends upon the quality of the bottle and also of course on the temperature of the surrounding air. But it has been found that beginning with temperature of 80 degrees Celsius, a quart thermos bottle of average quality will permit the temperature to drop no more than 25 to 30 degrees Celsius in 24 hours. Such temperatures are found to be quite satisfactory for the rapid production of acidophilus milk. Preparation Carefully clean a quart thermos bottle by allowing it to stand overnight full of water containing some washing powder and a little household ammonia, then clean it. Place the cork, a can opener and thermometer in a pan and pour boiling water over them. Wipe the top of one pound can of evaporated milk free from dust and pour boiling water over it. Open the can and pour contents into the pan that has been scalded. Fill the can with boiling water and pour into the evaporated milk. Immerse the pan in cool water and stir the mixture with the thermometer until the temperature comes down to about 40 degrees Celsius. Add 30 to 60 ml of commercially available lactobacillus acidophilus culture, mix and transfer it to thermos bottle. The temperature should now be between 70 to 85 degrees Celsius. Cork the bottle and let it stand for 24 hours or until the milk has acquired a pleasantly sour taste. When this is attained, transfer to a clean milk bottle and place it in the refrigerator. Cultures used in acidophilus milk. Succeeding cultures of lactobacillus acidophilus are prepared by using about a tea cup full that is 150 ml of milk culture which is previously made to inoculate the diluted evaporated milk for the next run. Proceeding in such a manner, it will be found that acid is produced at a more rapid rate than when the first quart was prepared using the commercial broth culture as a starter. Approximately 13 to 17 hours is quite sufficient for acid production. If fermentation is allowed to proceed for a longer time, so much acid is developed that the taste becomes unpleasantly sour. After the little experience, one may stop the action of the bacteria at any desired degree of soreness. This is affected by merely transferring the milk to, to a clean glass bottle and placing it in the refrigerator. It is preferably safe to keep the culture at room temperature, but as has already been mentioned, a considerable increase in acidity may be expected. This is of little consequence, however, if the product is consumed within 24 hours. On the other hand, if the milk is kept in a refrigerator, it should be consumed within 48 hours for the reason 
that the organisms rapidly die out at such low temperatures. One or two tablespoonful of lactose or dextrin may be added to each glass of milk consumed. Though the pleasant tart taste of the sour milk is to some extent injured by this addition. Most people prefer to take the carbohydrate separately. Typically, acidophilus milk has a fine grind curd. It is rather viscous especially at low temperatures but not stringy. It does not develop so high acidity as it is produced by the Lactobacillus bulgaricus. When a culture becomes rapidly very sour or bitter and is extremely viscous so that when poured from, from a bottle it runs out in a strings. It is an indication that the culture used was Lactobacillus bulgaricus. This should be discarded and a new commercial culture to be obtained from a different source. At any time when soaring does not seem to be taking place normally a new start should be made. This process is similar to the one used to make yogurt but results in a thinner drinkable product. It is possible to make acidophilus milk at home as long as the cook has the correct bacteria. Starter cultures that contain lactobacillus acidophilus are available although they often contain other strains including streptococcus thermophilus and lactobacillus bulgaricus that are commonly used to make yogurt. If fermented too long the milk will turn into yogurt. Storage Like other milk products acidophilus milk should be checked regularly for changes in texture color or smell. If the milk begins to smell different or change color it should be discarded. Active bacteria in the milk can continue reproducing as the product ages causing it to become dangerous to consume. It is important to keep this type of milk chilled to minimize bacterial activity. When homemade this milk should be used within a week. Commercial products may have a longer expiration date. Nutritional information. The nutritive value of this product is exactly the same as that of ordinary cow's milk. Evaporated milk is whole cow's milk evaporated down to one of its bulk. Therefore, by diluting a can of it with an equal amount of water, the composition will be the same as that of normal cow's milk. The evaporated milk flavor which is objectionable to some people is scarcely noticeable in acidophilus milk prepared from that product. Most of the commercially available products have about 1% milk fat providing about 110 calories per 8 ounces that is 236 ml. Regular 1% milk has about 1 or 2 calories. Both have about the same amount of protein that is 8 grams and calcium about 30% of the recommended daily allowance. Nutritional facts of the acidophilus milk in serving a size of 1 cup. Total fat 7%, saturated fat plus polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fat that is 15%, cholesterol 7%, sodium 4%, potassium 12%, total carbohydrate 4%, protein 14%, vitamin A 9%, vitamin C 1% and calcium 29%. And at last health benefits of acidophilus milk. From the earliest time in Europe and the East, the use of variety of soured milk preparations has been reputed to maintain health. Mechnikov and others established the fact that reduced the intestinal putrefactive bacterial flora including colon and that this material reduced 
intestinal taxomia. Acidophilus milk is used in place of regular cow's milk for some individuals who are lactose intolerant. During fermentation, the bacteria feed on the lactose sugar in the milk converting to lactic acid. For people who are lactose intolerant, that means their bodies may have an easier time digesting this milk. Acidophilus milk is only lightly fermented, however, so it does still contain milk sugar. This can cause gas and bloating in some people. Acidophilus milk is also sometimes recommended for use with infants who are old enough to drink cow's milk. One theory holds that when consumed by infants, acidophilus milk might reduce the chance of the child of developing allergies later in life. There is no proof that drinking this milk will cure an already existing allergy. Some studies also suggest that this type of milk may help lower cholesterol levels. The bacteria in the intestine may help prevent cholesterol in food from being absorbed so it does not enter the bloodstream. Digestive disorders Acidophilus milk may prevent or treat a number of digestive problems. They can ward off the traveler's diarrhea that may be prone to when eating unfamiliar or contaminated foods away from home and they may be helpful in relieving the stomach pain and bloating associated with irritable bowel syndrome. Acidophilus milk can help restore normal intestinal bacteria following a course of antibiotics which can kill off beneficial as well as harmful microorganism. In addition, drinking acidophilus milk can help prevent digestive upset if you are lactose intolerant. The process of manufacturing this type of milk reduces its lactose or milk sugar content, resulting in a product less likely to cause the stomach cramps and diarrhea associated with regular milk. Respiratory infections. In young children who are attend daycare, drinking acidophilus milk may reduce the number and severity of lung infections. This preventive effect appears when live cultures of the probiotic are consumed once or twice a day with another microbe called bifidobacterium. Consideration for consuming acidophilus milk. Probiotic is categorized as a food or food ingredient. The FDA regulates the probiotic component as a food additive subject to pre-market clearance or simply as generally recognized as safe that is grass food ingredient. Depending on the intended use of probiotic, they can therefore vary widely in quality and labels may not accurately reflect the product's contents. They may even be contaminated with unfriendly microorganisms. Consuming fermented foods such as yogurt, acidophilus milk, miso and temp can offer the benefits of acidophilus supplements provided they contain live cultures. Effect of acidophilus milk in lactose intolerance conditions. If toddler is lactose intolerant, sweet acidophilus milk won't necessarily reduce his symptoms. Most studies do not show that adding lactobacillus acidophilus to milk reduces the lactose content of the milk. Probably because of the low concentration of lactobacillus acidophilus in the milk. According to nutrition in the prevention and treatment of disease, in studies that did show a benefit, the amount of acidophilus given was higher than that of typically found in sweet acidophilus milk. Precautions to be taken before use of acidophilus milk. Some toddlers should not drink sweet acidophilus milk. If your child has a mild allergy, sweet acidophilus milk which contains 
cow's milk will not be a safe alternative. Acidophilus milk does not alter the proteins in milk which cause allergic reactions in susceptible children. Children with compromised immune system also should not consume probiotics such as acidophilus milk unless approved by their physicians. The University of Maryland Medical Center cautions. Although it is thought to be safe with few side effects, lactobacillus acidophilus by mouth should be avoided in people who have intestinal damage, immune problems or and overgrowth of bacteria in the intestines. These people may have a higher risk of having the bacteria leave the gastrointestinal tract and possibly cause multiple organ failure. There have been reports that some lactobacillus species such as lactobacillus rhamnosus and lactobacillus casei may be involved in infections such as abscesses meningitis and septic arthritis. In conclusion, acetophilus milk is a sore product that has been allowed to perfect under conditions that favor the growth and development of thermophilic lactic acid bacteria. It is claimed that acetophilus milk has therapeutic and health promoting properties. It is also claimed that the growth of lactobacillus acidophilus under the condition existing in the intestinal tract can help restore the balance between good and harmful bacteria and replace undesirable putrefactive fermentation with a beneficial lactic fermentation. Taken as a probiotic food product, acidophilus milk serves as a dietary supplement that may benefit a variety of conditions. Thank you.